much less this one. Fastball delivered high, swung up a driven foul, strike two. This guy, like Cabrera, as you mentioned, a leader in the clubhouse, a leader on the field. The boys are basically flying blind out there with that one. It's funny, when you look at it, their last 17 games, they've lost 15. That's not fun. And you know what's even scarier than that? What is it? Police Department. An escape has occurred from the Drayton County Correctional Facility. One subject, Mark Veltran, has escaped. He is described as a white male, 5 feet 11 inches tall. He has blue eyes and light brown shoulder length hair. The subject was last seen wearing an orange jumpsuit. He should be considered a I think it's wonderful that you're taking this time off. I really do. It's something that I wish that I had done when I was your age. Victoria? Uh, yeah, it, it's great. Well, it's good to have you home, honey. You plan on going back next semester? Or is it gonna take longer than that to find yourself or whatever it is that's happening here? Don't look at me. already. That was almost two years ago. It's time she moved past that. You have. Look, Wade, I love you. We just need some time to adjust. That's all it is. Look, I know her. She will come around eventually. She's just never dealt well with change. Change is all there is, Lillian. Hell, Wade Jr. is what, 10, 12 years old? He's already been through four mothers in his lifetime. Find out. 
you keep full-size candy bars in the house? If you please, Junior, just promise me that you won't say anything to them. They think that I'm sleeping. Please just do me this one favor, and I swear I will never ask you for anything ever again. Promise me, shithead. Okay. Thank you. I mean it. Yes, I need to report a stolen vehicle. Okay, Wait, please, no. No, like I said, my car was stolen and I want it back. All on duty officers in your area have been diverted from their regular patrols. What the hell are you talking about? Due to the non-emergency nature of the incident, I will be unable to dispatch any units at this time. If you give me your name, address, vehicle description, and location of the theft, we will have an officer follow up with you as soon as we are able to do so, sir. Are you able to provide... You're better. It's not like we haven't seen you in almost a year or anything. Shit, I have to get gas. Ugh, we're gonna be late. Do you have any money? <laughs> not for gas. Oh, check the wallet. Wade Worthington, Platinum. <laughs> all right, Lil, now it's all coming together. Returning to tonight's top story, we have breaking news regarding the prison escape that has all of the greater drain area on high alert. Police have now released the identity of the alleged escapee, none other than DIT murderer Dr. Mark Beltran. Beltran, of course, awaiting trial for multiple homicides committed on DIT campus last month. For more on this evolving story, we go live. And 20 bucks on two. 
Shadow Wing, where he managed to escape the maximum security of facility. He is considered... Look, I can call him if you want, but he got pissed last time. Should have gone through. Uh, yeah, I got it. In his wake, seven confirmed dead. Four inmates, three police officers, among them Warden Tinsley Burke. Police do not know how he was able to escape, and they don't know where he is headed next. Beltran was complaining of a dog. I swear to God, if we miss this party and I hear that Ryan was there and he. Was Pitches at 805. Mats is facing off against three times Seth Ball winner Tim Frank, who's been nearly unstoppable this season with an ERA of 192 in his last 22 starts. And the pressure's on. Everything. Rugs lose, their playoff hopes are gone. If they win, still not much hope for a playoff run. But hey, something to be said for Chino. Car was found off of 141. Why all of a sudden are we focusing back on this gas station again? The cops cleared it and moved on. I'm just doing my job, Wade. That means exhausting all leads. I have a contact over at Securicom who owes me a couple favors, and I was able to get my hands on a copy of the security system maintenance logs. And going through those dates, a pattern emerged. The security system for the Texaco on Collier is conveniently out of order every full moon for almost a year. Why the hell would the moon have anything to do with anything? Are you on the 
fucking moon right now? What the hell are you talking about, Stensland? Let me finish, please, Waydrick. Thank you. That station attendant has something he doesn't want seen, and whatever it is, it only happens on a full moon. So, I looked into him. Munson Scholar at DIT Medical, recipient of the Torrance Research Grant. I, I, what's a guy with this kind of pedigree doing working as a gas station attendant down in Drayton? I mean, he could be saving the world. He got expelled from DIT. A year after it was alleged he and his partner were using grant money to manufacture designer street drugs using university lab equipment. Hard. IV stuff. Now, I don't want to alarm you, but I think it's important you know who his associate was. Who? Dr. Mark Beltran. Who? The DIT murderer. As I'm sure you're aware, he somehow managed to escape from a maximum security prison. Same night Victoria went missing. Must have taken a heroic dose of whatever it was he was cooking up there because he ripped five people to shreds. Real gruesome business. You don't think that he... No, there's no reason to assume the worst. We haven't found a body yet. Yet? Wade? Oh, very good. Well done, Paul. You really do have a light touch, don't you? Tomorrow night is a full moon. Oh, again with the moon. For Christ's sake, Stensland, I am paying you a lot of money, and all you are bringing back to us in return is bullshit. Nothing but... Now, if Victoria is somehow involved in this, I believe tomorrow is our best chance of finding her. But for that to happen, we need to work together. That means I need 100% honesty from both of you. Do you think Victoria was using drugs? No. Yes. Reading, huh? You in school? Not this year. Ha. Huh. Just for fun then, huh? 
there anything else I can help you with? Excuse me. No, no. That's it. You have a good day, huh? Come on, man! Fucking dick. That's how it's gonna be. You sucker punch and drug me and think you can just come back when it's that time of the month and everything is gonna be perfectly fine. Just fun. don't. Just give it to me. I think I've made a breakthrough, Victoria. What are you talking about? I was right. Her mutated spleen was destroying the infected blood cells in her stream. By the time it would reach her lymph nodes, it may as well have been water. But that's why the compound hasn't been effective as a long-term treatment. The coating happens during the first transformative cycle. So if I can find a way to isolate the antibodies in an L-positive specimen before it goes through that first cycle, of course, I won't know for sure until tonight, but... I may have a shot at synthesizing an antidote. Something that doesn't just spot treat the symptoms. Talking about the cure, Victoria. A cure for what? I, I mean, do you even know what attacked me? Do you have any idea what's inside of us or where it came from? How can you expect to cure something if you don't even know what it is?
Victoria Miller. Victoria, my name is Paul Stensland. I'm an independent private investigator hired by your parents and the parents of Kelly McLaughlin to investigate your disappearance July 26th. I need you to come up. What's your relationship to the gas station attendant? I asked because you two uh, seem familiar. It's the one place you keep going back to. Look, I am trying to help you. Wouldn't hurt you if you cooperate just to the most teams in the division, maybe even the league. They're still in it. And if they win tonight, they'll have a shot at a playoff run. But if they lose, well, that's all she wrote for this season. 10 till the top of the hour. This is Scott Rue. Caller Jeff from Denwood. Jeff, what's in you, man? Yeah, Scott, long time listening. Good to have you on the bench. You saw what it did when left unchecked. But you pushed, and you pushed anyway. It was different when it was just us. But now more people are dead, a young girl is infected, and I don't have the heart to tell her that we are responsible. That's on you. Please. I couldn't have done it without you. Thanks. Who sold it to her? Uh, that 
it's still under investigation, I can't tell you that. You can't tell me much, can you? Well, what I can tell you is not a lot of 17-year-old girls disappear for a month and come back in one piece. And right now, that's what you need to be concerned about. Did she use today? Mm, if she did, she hit it well. I tailed her from the gas station, and she hasn't been out of my sight since. Wade, this is powerful stuff. I was a cop for 15 years, and I never saw anything like it. Her withdrawal could be severe. You and Lillian need to be prepared for that. Where is it? you run away from us? Don't you know how much that hurt me? If it's drugs or something, we can get you help. You just have to please talk to me. You don't understand. You'd be surprised, Victoria. I've been through a lot of things in my life. Some things that you might not believe. Not like this. Sorry. The first transformative cycle is very, very unpredictable. Just gotta be cautious. Nothing personal. of some kind. Amphibious in nature from what I can tell. Kind of like rabies for warm-blooded and cold-blooded animals. Of course, it's the warm-blooded ones that experience more of the intense transformative side effects. Of... Though they're both linked to the lunar cycle. <laughs> what, like a fucking werewolf? No, not like. All right, yeah, kind of like a fucking werewolf. But like I said, Amphibian. You can tell all of that and still not have any idea what it is or where it came from? And if you're so smart, what are you doing working at a fucking gas station in the middle of nowhere? That gas station put me through med school is what's keeping the lights on down here, and that is the only reason your ass is still alive right now. 
How about a little courtesy? Sorry. No. I don't know what this... Frog monster? ...is, or why it's happening to us. What I do know is that I'm gonna do whatever I can to stop it. So I think I may be close. What is that? Beautiful, isn't she? No, it's disgusting. What's wrong with it? Hey, be nice. This little lady could hold the key to a cure. But we won't know for sure until next month. So what, I come back then and we see if it worked or? Mm, that, mm. I'm sorry, I, I can't let you leave. Well, you can't keep me here. I have to. You may not come back and I need to make sure that you receive your next dose. You're telling me that I have to stay in your crappy laboratory for the next month? I'll get you a new bedding, some new clothes. No, just give me the next dose and whatever paraphernalia I need and I'll figure it out. It isn't that simple. The serum isn't effective unless administered during the first transformative symptom and you only get one shot. There's too much at risk. I can't. I can't. Where are my keys? I dumped your car off 141 two days ago. The cops were over here. They were looking. I Give me my fucking car keys. Not cool. Managed to scrub most of the grime off of her. Still not talking, though. God, I wish you'd just say something. I can't stand to think of her out there by herself for so long. Wade? What's wrong? What's that? It's what you've been too scared to admit. And what I've known all along.
Lose something? Where is it? You don't actually think I'd let a junkie use this shit in my house, do you? You, 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 you don't understand what's going on, Wade. Please, give it to me. Or what? The fuck are you gonna do? Wade, please. Shut up, Lillian. I get it, she's your daughter. The last time I listened to you and went easy on her, she disappeared for two months and came back looking like this, all strung out and fucked up. If she wants to shoot dope, I don't give a shit, but not in my house or around my kid. It's not drugs, Wade. It's medicine for something you wouldn't believe in even if you saw it on Fox News. And if I don't get it, it's going to be really bad for everyone, especially you. What the hell did you just say to me? You hurt me. This is serious. Give it to me. manners, but I'm not. I have to go right now. If I leave now, there's still time to... No! Are you retarded? No. What makes you think I'm gonna let you go anywhere? Ever? You're locked in right here until whatever it is you've been putting inside of you works its way out. If what's inside of me gets out, I think a lot of people are going to die! Thank <laughs> you. 
God damn it.
Where were you? Where were Worthington. Uh, uh, yes. You know, we got some phone calls from your neighbors about some loud noises coming from this house. Said they heard some screams. Is everything all right in there? Oh, yeah, yeah, it would be if uh, the Swamp Frogs would win one at home every once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> They've been asleep since the Florida game. Oh, yes. No. I've been saying all this time, you cannot win a home game. How the hell do you expect to win a championship? Yeah, you can't. You just can't. It, 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 it's fucking possible. Oh, That's what it is. It's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Dispatch, this is Unit 51. And all clear on that 273. False alarm. Copy that, 51. Yeah. Well, uh, I, I'll try and keep down, officer. I'm, I'm sorry for the disturbance. Mm-hmm. All right, Mr. Worthington. Have a good night, okay? You too. Nineteen, you know. Her entire family is dead now. Torn to pieces. Whatever you creeps are on that makes PCP look like fucking baby aspirin. God, you got a whole fucking operation down here. It's not what you think. It doesn't matter. 
Get off on it, don't you? No. No.
Victoria. Reserves. All of it. Spilled a coffee in the store. Fucking asshole. Is there enough time to harvest another batch between now and the next full moon? He's dead. Maybe it's time we take this out of the basement. I mean, you had colleagues in med school, right? Professors, some kind of link to the scientific community. They would be all over this. We could get professional help. Yeah, they would dissect us like animals. I'd rather die on my own terms. What, what, what works? My new serum. Does, the pre-cycled blood. Does this mean that... All it means is that we might have had a chance. But, but, what do you mean it might have? You said that their kidneys were similar to a human's, right? Spleens, but that okay, doesn't so mean... So take the spleens out of one of these things. That would allow you to isolate the antibodies or whatever it is you need to do. That's what you said. Even if we had one of these things, I can only supplement the mechanics of the human body. I don't have the resources to replicate them. Without the spleen, they wouldn't be able to stay alive through the harvesting process. They barely survive as is. We need a living specimen, and we need it before it completes its first cycle. So what are you saying? I'm saying that we're on our own. Without an antidote... Nature will take its course on the next full moon, and we're going to be powerless to stop it. You should have just killed me. I am sorry, Victoria. I could have escaped. I could have gotten back here before. This is all my fault. No. No, it's mine. No, I mean, you did everything you could. I mean, you don't even know what this thing is. If it wasn't for you, I would be dead right now. Right? Look at me. Tell me that you don't know what this thing is. You never meant for it to get out like that. What? You thought the side effects would be minimal in human subjects. The simulation results were so encouraging. We couldn't get FDA approval, so we decided to test it on ourselves. It was supposed to be a controlled experiment. We took every precaution. I don't know how he could be so careless. He was a better scientist you than that. You fucking liar! It was you the whole time! You're just keeping me from shooting. Victoria, I didn't know... I tore my mother to pieces because of your fucking science project! 
Victoria, you must understand. Our research can revolutionize modern medicine. Imagine being able to cure oh, any no, disease. I any oh, what disease you were trying to You created something worse. If you kill me, you will not be able to stop it. I am your only chance. If I kill you and then myself, this ends here and no one else gets hurt. It doesn't have to be like that. I can fix this. Please, just... You said it yourself. It's too late. Last month's quadruple homicide rampage, which started here in the home of Wadrick Worthington, has left only more questions in the case. Worthington was the stepfather of Victoria Murray, one of the girls who disappeared the night of July 26th. Jaden TV is also reaching out for any information regarding the whereabouts of former detective Paul Stenzel, who disappeared on the same night. A warrant has been issued for Paul Stenzel's arrest. I do appreciate everything you're doing. You're being so annoying. There's only 25 more days until the next full moon, so I really need you to focus. I need every last ounce out of you. Thanks, Paul. Yeah. 